hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you are new here you are welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in so today's video is basically a makeup transformation video where i transform this my gorgeous younger sister here to a very beautiful model which you'll see at the end of this video so please stay tuned if you are new here kindly consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below and also hit the notification bell just beside the subscribe button so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. So I started off with the brows. I'm using this waterproof brow pen too. And I am drawing her brows like so, okay? To highlight her brows, I will be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. I'm just brushing out the brows with this pulley so that I can just get that like a transitional effect. I don't know if you understand but then that's what I was just going for as I said earlier I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in front to highlight the brows I'm highlighting both the top and the bottom of the brows I like doing that with the same concealer because it kind, it kind of makes the brows pop I don't know if you feel that it makes your brows pop when you highlight the top and the bottom just leave a comment in the comment section so I am just trying to brush it off or rather blend it in with a blending brush so I'm going on to clean her face with wipes and then apply the primer the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer I'm using it on her face like so after the Rimmel Stay Matte had dried up I then went in with her foundation the Flawless Ivy Foundation in honey mixed with ebony to get her perfect shade and I'm blending it in with a flat top brush and I spread a little water on it then to highlight her face I am using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and I am also using the Zaron Medium Concealer or rather Zaron Concealer in Medium I am using this to highlight the inner corners of her eyes to highlight the other parts of her face I am using the Zaron concealer in medium for her contour I went in with the darker shade of foundation and I was using the unique touch for her nose her forehead and her cheekbone unique touch foundation or rather concealer i thought it was quite difficult to blend but it has to blend it can't give me marks i then went in to set the highlighted areas with a powder palette i would leave the names of products in the description box below i might not be able to say or remember names of all products but definitely i would leave it in the description box below so i am highlighting it with a flat brush and like so i'm also going to contour from the same powder palette To set her entire face, I'm going into this LA Girl Oil Control Powder Palette. It's a little messy, but then I needed to use it. That was why I went into this powder palette. And I'm just trying to set all areas of her face. Like so. I'm using a flat, wide brush. I'm going ahead to apply the Johnson's Baby Powder under her eyes. I am using this so it can catch fallout from the eyeshadow work I am about to begin to start. I am, I am 
applying the Zaron's concealer in medium as a base and I'm just blending it in with a blending brush as you can see I'm tapping it in and not swiping I'm just trying to tap it so everything can be in place like so then I'm going into this dark brown from my contour palette and I'm using it at the outer corners of her eyes and as you can see I'm trying to press it in and then gently blend it out if you stay, we can get away with it. Cause you make me love my If you notice, I didn't set the concealer, so I'm kind of using this one to set it so that it doesn't break. So I'm pressing it in and I'm also trying to blend it out softly. I Then I went in with a lighter brown and I'm using it to blend out the darker brown just to create a kind of smooth transition so that it's not harsh like so as you can see i'm just trying to blend it out then i sprayed a flat brush with water and i'm applying it as her main color i sprayed a brush with water because i wanted the eyeshadow to come out really well i wanted it to pop so if i had not sprayed it with water i might not get this amount of highlights that's why i have spirit water for transition i am using a lighter brown yes a lighter brown shade from the same zaron eyeshadow palette in f and i'm just using it to blend out the areas where the gold mine meets the dark brown so that the transition will be very smooth the gold mine is actually the color I used on her lid. To line her lids, I am using the naked the naked gel liner. I then went to apply her blush with this my blush palette that don't have a name oh my god after which I went to spray her face with my setting spray I would leave the name in the description box below To highlight her face, I'm taking the same gold mine from the Zaron eyeshadow palette in F and I'm using it to highlight her cheekbone, under eyes, her nose, cubit boo and her chin and also her forehead for her lipstick. I will leave the name in the description box below. I really can't remember right now. And I just went ahead to set her entire face and this is the final look guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a huge thumbs up. If you love this look, God, I love the look so much. It's so, life is simple. Yeah, simple. It's so simple and kind of classy for me, okay? If you did enjoy, please give it a huge thumbs up and leave your comments in the comment section. And also share my videos, guys. And please, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for now? Eh? Bikonu, subscribe, okay? Subscribe and hit the notification bell just beside the subscribe button so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in my next one.